If you're having a shit week, just be grateful you're not Liz Truss because no one could be having a shitter week as Liz Truss. She's only been in power for three weeks. She was elected, as you'll remember, on a promise of being the driver of economic growth, except she didn't quite know where the money was going to be coming from to fund her tax cuts. I think she maybe thought she had some kind of magic money tree. And so she announced her tax cuts without knowing where that money was going to come from to replace that income. The markets reacted with horror. The pound collapsed, reaching parity with the dollar. Thanks very much for that, Liz Trust, while I'm in America. And borrowing rates went through the roof. And as a result, mortgage rates skyrocketed as well. Liz Truss's popularity took a nosedive. She's now on negative 55, one of the lowest popularity ratings ever, and she's done the impossible, which is managed to make Keir Starmer look like some people might just about like him. She's achieved the one thing no one could ever achieve in the UK, which is to be slightly more hated than Meghan Markle. This week, she's had to ditch her tax cuts that she was elected on. She's had to fire her chancellor, Kwasi Kwarteng, who turned out to be a bit more Kwasi Kwa can't. And now she's trying to scrabble around, trying to salvage her reputation. Last scene, she was holding a lighter up against her hair, hoping to self-immolate her own head just to make the pain go away. And that's all within four weeks of becoming Prime Minister of Great Britain. What a truly great time to be alive.